Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. Roper St. Francis is the first in the state to participate in a clinical trial benefiting atrial fibrillation patients who are at risk for stroke but can't handle blood thinners. Dr. Matthew Osteen has more. The left atrial appendage is a, like a windsock off the top chamber of the heart. It is a place where clots can form in patients in atrial fibrillation. Clots can dislodge, they can go to the brain and cause a pretty severe stroke. To reduce the risk of stroke, the current trial allows Roper St. Francis doctors to use catheter technology to place the amulet device inside this appendage. The device goes in through a catheter and we go up with x-ray guidance and ultrasound guidance and put the device in the left atrial appendage. It kind of blooms out and blossoms and closes the entrance to the left atrial appendage. Patients stay in the hospital overnight and they go home the next day. They'll be fully active, back to their normal self. Patients get to come off their long-term blood thinners. Roper St. Francis was the, the first hospital in South Carolina to implant one of these uh, devices. In the low country, there are thousands of people that could potentially benefit from this technology. If you've been diagnosed with AFib and you're on blood thinners and you want to learn more about the clinical trial, call 724-AFib. And for more House Calls TV, visit us online at RSFA. Com. I'm Angela May. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.